welcome again to Musician Live. This is your guitar instructor, Tolani. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss out uh, on a lot of the things that we put up here. We have guitar lessons, we have piano lessons, we have bass lessons. Uh, Daniel is taking good care of that. Uh, I have good news for you. He, re he recently released a DVD, a bass DVD. So if you can get your hands that DVD you would have that would be the best investment of your life if you're playing bass if you're a beginner intermediate if you wanna want to wanna get started it will take you through step by step so get a copy of the DVD uh, having that said we just looked at the song you are alpha we'll be in the key of E <laughs> So what we're gonna be doing, we're just gonna be running through the chords. So we're gonna look at the progression. Uh, we give you all that glory. Yep, got some vocal skills too. As you just heard, so we give you all that glory. So where the piano was going through those lines, that provision is a six five, you know. But what I was doing, I was using swells or volume swells. I use my volume. Uh, I have a pedal board, it's a multi effect. It's a gem box too. So you can also use that any pedal that has got a, a volume effect. So what you do I think if you watch any of our, of our videos, there is a video specifically on that that explains swells. Uh, what you do, you just... So I'm gonna... My volume is all the way up, but on my pedal, it's off. So I just... So I just strum and then push my volume pedal. But it's usually easy. Let's go through what everyone already has, which is a volume knob. So I usually use my pinky. So I just hook the pinky. Some volume uh, uh, knobs are very hard. Some of them are too smooth to do this. Like if you have those glassy ones, those are usually not way good for... for. But you just... So I, I use a lot of the harmonic minor. I use the natural minor scales. I use major scale. I use the pentatonic, the blues scale. I use all of that. And I use most of the time my go-to scale. It's going to be the natural minor and in all the modes, in all its modes. So I'll just play... So I'll just play it on another sheet. You know, we play it in different shape. And then... So how this works uh it's 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 just you let's let's look at the the the, mi the minor scale so which is this is already gonna be your nine it's eight e, sorry it's nine eleven twelve nine eleven twelve on the e string on the b and the a string is the same thing nine eleven twelve Then on the D string, it's the 9 and 11. On the G string, it's 8, 9, 11. On the D string, it's 9, 10, 12. On the E string, you do what you did over in the lower E. So it's 9... 11, 12. 
So we, that scale is gonna take you far. So I. So then now you have to learn to use the same scale in different uh, shapes. So, so the same scale. So how you do that? It's like if similar to modes, which you're gonna be covering soon. So, the note that you you start on on the second time, you start on the second note. So. So now this one starts on the six, which is C sharp minor. So if I wanna shift into another mode, instead of starting on the six, starting on the seven, which is the E flat. And then, you know, over and over you start on different notes to get the the modes of this, this scale. So that is what I was using, but my, Soft sp my, my hot spot for leaks, uh, especially double stops. I use a lot of double stops. Uh, so what, what what you can do to find your uh, spot for the double stops? They are also here. So it's on the pentatonic pentatonic box of the twelfth. Uh, the sorry the C sharp minor so you just combine it uh, you combine two notes double stop so you hold them like a chord so what I usually do I like this double stops but I also like this one On the C sharp minor, I just play my C sharp minor and then play the leaks around. This one is from the shape of A minor, B flat, D minor, C, C sharp minor. six over the six you can you can do them on one two so we give you all so all. so you, you just play around with those So you can do also we're gonna have a lesson. Watch out for the next week of specifically focusing on double stops. So you can know how you can use double stops in your playing. They're a very useful tool. Uh, until next lesson, uh, stay practicing and like I said, there is a DVD released by Daniel. Please make sure that you get yourself a copy or know someone that plays bass. If you have got a friend, brother who's practicing, who's trying to learn bass, just get them a copy as a gift. But yeah, that's it for the day. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.